everyone welcome back this is tina of tiny and feisty doing another plan with me we're also going to do just a quick flip through through what i have so far for september um because reasons all right here we go so september i decided to do a harry potter theme but not in the typical way most people do harry potter themes um i'm kind of going for classes or different topics i'm not necessarily going houses so here is my month overview. Um, it's generally, well, it's just a Hogwarts kind of thing. We've got some Fantastic Beasts right here. And of course, Togepi is obviously, you know, obviously Hagrid would love him. Um, so I do have some Jalen Paper Co. stickers in here. This time, some little things right here. These ones here are ones I made as usual. Um, some paper house washi tape. And then this right here is a pumpkin paper, paper co custom I had made when they do their wizard um, customs. I do have a sticker that I need to put on my monthly. Um, I did use tweezers to do this monthly and I will say they are a game changer. So we'll just stick that on there. That's ready to go. So for my mood tracker this month, um, I had my roommate Casey, who's an artist, actually draw me these cute little remembrals. Um, and there's one for each day of the week, or sorry, each day of the month. Wow, I'm off today. So need to label the numbers, but just got a nice little thing here. This is um, a honeybee shop digital that I used. Um, and then we've got, I did use the house's um, colors for the moods as well. So far, I only have the this for the first week planned out, scheduled for <laughs> um, this month so far. So we're going to go ahead and knock that out. I am doing a daily profit theme. These were stickers that I made from images that I found on the internet. When they're being used for personal use, it's typically okay to use. This is my cat, Victor Frankenstein, also known as Bubby, when he's a good boy. So I do have it pre-sketched out like I usually do. So we'll go through and we'll go ahead and use these. I definitely messed up a little bit when I did the last plan with me video because I realized after the fact how much more I actually put into my weeklies. So if we look here, I added a whole bunch of washi tape. I added some memes. And then this is kind of how that week ended up looking finished. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase the pencil marks for the numbers and then what kit I'm gonna use. I do have the kits planned out for the rest of the month. I'm still waiting on a couple from Keepsakes by Ashley, but I do have next week's kit, next next week kit um, ready to go. So we'll go ahead and start with the date covers, which I guess really aren't date covers because we're not covering any dates. Um, what I've found with the tweezers, depending on the sticker, I do like to pick it up with my fingers and then put it down with the tape. Now, I don't like splitting my weeks up per month. Um, so if we noticed this is actually wrong, this week starts on Tuesday. And I knew I was going to do that. But thankfully, I should be able to gently pull that up and put that over there. So this week actually starts with Tuesday. <laughs> um, if you look back at this week, Monday's the last day. I do not like splitting up the week mid-month or the end of the month, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. So as we see, this month starts on a Tuesday. So we're actually going to start with the Tuesday date sticker. So what I did was I found some Daily Profit paper and then... Um, made it a bit more transparent so I could put the days of the week on top in a Harry Potter font um, which I also found online free to use for, free to use for personal use um, I don't have commercial licenses at this time I'm not looking to purchase commercial licenses um, but because I'm doing this for personal use it is okay to do and that is crooked
Um, I could have done this week with all the news happening of our beloved Chadwick Boseman passing away. I do have a wonderful Black Panther kit I got from Indian Ivy Inc. Um, but I will use that at a later date. Um, I haven't decided when yet, but I am holding on to that kit at the moment. When I have a themed month like this, it's really hard to do something a little bit different. Um, so there are some months I try not to do a theme, so I can just kind of go with whatever I'm feeling. Now, you'll notice that I don't have habit trackers or a, a page habit trackers this month. Um, I decided I'm going to try it for just the week because I think it's going to be easier. I think I'm actually going to use it. So um, and we'll do that in a moment. So I do have some headers that I made um, in kind of like a parchment color and then your green for your quick notes quill, which I think is a fabulous little thing that Rita Skeeter used, even though we all hate Rita Skeeter. So we all know that. Um, obviously, I don't have a lot of room on this page for any memes, which is fine, but I did make sure to use a cutout sheet from the Daily Prophet. Obviously, you really can't find anything that, you know, it's either Azkaban or it's about Voldemort. Um, so it's hard to find something a little bit different. I was able, after some digging, <laughs> able to find the Daily Prophet header that they use on the newspaper. And I actually think that looks really cool. All right, so I'm going to use one of my Stat Statler pigment liners to go ahead and do the dates. Um, I would use a date dot, but it's hard to justify using date dots when you aren't using like her whole month. I do like using the 0.5 for this or a 0.7 because they are thicker and then you can see it a little bit better. And those are done. So we still need to do the important note to buy to do. I'm actually just gonna do the stars I think for this um, in a parchment color which I actually used for my Alexander Hamilton month um, that was definitely a very popular color scheme I had because it's parchment eh, I think I'll still use it to do sticker just to keep with the font I definitely had to offset this a lot because um, it's important to be able to have both words in the same offset so I had to make it like gigante It's actually a perfect little spot Ooh. for a quick notes quill. Very nice. Now I'm going to label just the days of the week here. It's still obviously a bit early to get it all ready for the week. But it's always hard to decide what color to use if I want to use a glitter or if I want to use a solid so I do have lots of extra paper extra room on this so we're just gonna see which is gonna work a little bit better that's definitely a little too neon that's perfect so we're gonna go ahead and use the metallic jelly roll to go ahead and write the day of the weekend now we have to remember this starts on a Tuesday so I'm not gonna screw it up at least try not to You have to be really careful because this is wet <laughs> and it will smudge. Now I have a nice little pile of stickers here from different shops. Some are made by me, some are obviously from specific shops um, to go ahead and decorate and use as needed. Um, this week I do have a couple really big releases that are coming out for shops that I love. Um, Honey Bee Shop is doing their Halloween drop on the 4th, and they do have their Babe Box subscription starting on Tuesday, on the 1st. So, I am definitely going to be using one of my Once More With Love stickers. 
of the buy, 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 because that's nice and dangerous. Um, but just also to remind me that these things are happening during the week. Um, as always, I have another doctor's appointment. So again, we use the doctor appointment sticker, which I do love in this Rocky Horror style font, which I found online and is free for personal use. Um, a bit of an offset on there to make sure that everything looks good. I don't have a lot of room on these days because I wanted to just keep it to one page. Since I did, wasn't going to do a dual page spread. Every Wednesday, we celebrate Wee Nids Day. Uh, <laughs> Gorgeous George, um, his sister, Wee Nid, or Enid, <laughs> we celebrate every Wednesday on his page. So Wednesdays are very, very important. So I mark that with her special Wednesday sticker that I made for her and sent to Stephanie. Um, I do have a little bit of space right here. This is the custom I had made from Pumpkin Paper Co. So I kind of want to put one of those little gals there um, just to kind of keep, keep her throughout. But I do also have this um, gal from Honey Bee Sticker Co. Uh, that was a digital that I made into a sticker. Um, now I think that this one is going to look better right here um, based on the kind of scheme of everything. I do have her over here. It happens. Not a big deal. I'm not going to complain. I do. <laughs> I just grab stickers from where I want them to go and they just kind of just happen. So we're going to put her right there. Still have to add my habit trackers on there. Haven't gotten there. Um, a couple things that I do try to track. Um, video games, if I play. Right now I'm playing a lot, so I'm not going to use it as a habit tracker, but I do have some pain issues. So I want to make sure that I'm tracking that. Um, I made these painstakingly little habit trackers. This one's kind of hard to see because of the colors, um, but that one's going to be for pain tracking. Um, I'm going to either put in each little bubble um, what pain I'm experiencing that day. I do suffer from knee pain, chronic headaches, um, and my back's still acting up from when I messed it up earlier this year. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, can't not that I can think of anything at the moment. Um, oh, I actually did forget something. I am visiting a local rabbit rescue on Tuesday. Nope, I lied. On Monday. <laughs> Never mind. See, I'm already confused. I just need to stop. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is it for this week. Um, I know, hopefully, definitely trying some new things this month to see how everything's going to work. I hate the way that looks. I will probably redo that with a different sticker because I did make extra ones. So we're just actually gonna eat that away. While I fix this, and before I continue to drabble on, I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, I will do my best to record next week's um, a little bit more in advance. We'll see how that works. I'm actually going to write on these to decide which thing I want to use. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.